Have you ever been afraid of dying? Are you uncertain about maybe what lies beyond the grave? You know, what happens to you after you die? What is it like on the other side? Nobody's really, honestly, been able to come back and tell us. How would you like to know how easy it is to live forever and never have to fear death? Welcome to the Getting to Know Jesus Weekly Devotion Series. I'm Glenn Koppel, Minister of the Word. This week's thought comes from Lesson 32, which is in Getting to Know Jesus, Volume 3. Our Bible text, if you'd like to follow along in your Bible, is in John chapter 5, verses 21 through 24. For just as a father raises the dead and gives them life, even so the Son gives life to whom he is pleased to give it. Moreover, the Father judges no one, but has entrusted all judgment to the Son, that all may honor the Son just as they honor the Father. Who, he who does not honor the Son does not honor the Father who sent him. I tell you the truth. Whoever hears my words and believes him who sent me has eternal life and will not be condemned. He's crossed over from death to life. How to beat death? How would you like to know how you can live forever? In a world where there is no sickness, no hunger, no pain, no disease, or death. You know, physical death cannot be avoided, but you can make it so you can only die once. See, if you're born once, you're going to die twice. Because we've all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. We're going to die for that. And if we die outside of Jesus Christ, we're going to die again. And that death is going to last forever. But if we're born twice, we only have to die once. Let me try to explain. You see, physical death cannot be avoided. But God has established that if we would believe that Jesus his son is his son and that Jesus died on the cross for our sins we can have eternal life we can live forever and not in a world like this where there's evil and sickness and disease and pain and suffering and all that stuff no we can live forever with him in his world where everything is perfect everything is beautiful there is no disease there is no sickness there's eternal life there's health there's happiness no sorrow, no sadness. All we have to do is believe that Jesus is God's Son. We can't earn this eternal life. <coughs> we don't deserve this eternal life. There's no way we could pay for it. But if we love Jesus as our Lord and Savior, just accept what He said. Just as the Father raises the dead and gives them life, the Son gives life to those who He's pleased to give it. And all we have to do to get it is to love Him. If we love Him, we'll want to do what pleases Him. If we do what pleases Him, we'll want to say no to temptation. We'll want to say no to sin. We'll, we'll want to be motivated to do what Christ did when He was on this earth. To become more like Him. So that we can just enjoy the beauty of having Him in us while we're on this world. The strength of having Him in us when temptations come and try to cause us to do things that we know would hurt Him and hurt us too. Love will motivate you to recognize temptation and say no to it. And, and be victorious in your life on this earth against sin. The reward is eternal life. The person who received that reward is you. The time to do it is now. Ask Jesus to become your Lord and Savior. And then find your nearest church or minister and say, You know what? I believe that Jesus is a Christ. And I want to be immersed in His name. To do what He told me to do because I want to obey Him. Because I want to have that eternal life in me. These comments are taken from the Getting to Know Jesus Bible Study Series and supported by your gifts. By partnering with us in the financial needs of this ministry, you're participating in fulfilling the Great Commission, taking the gospel to the whole world by internet technology. To send a tax-deductible gift, please go to www.gettingtoknowjesus.org and donate online, or order the Getting to Know Jesus books for your own Bible study of every event in the life and teachings of Jesus. 
thank you for partnering with us as we fulfill the Great Commission. God bless you and have a great week.